1200 metres the distance and they're all in now starter picks up the button off in the third and Silver Set was one of the best into stride. Segalina showing good speed out of the stalls and it's got its head in front early. Zazzy from the inside stall is going with it and special mention easing out of that speed battle to go back to third. And then we've got Valley Saint who's railed up to save ground into fourth now. Silver Set after jumping well midfield on the outside of Tidy Package. North Command the favourite back second last in the fence and two lengths to Forest Ferry. 700 to go. The leader Zazzy led by a neck. Segaline's on its outside as they slow right up now. Valley Saint in the box seat from special mention. Silver Set still doing a tough out wide. Uh, Favourite Dwarf Command is locked away on the inside at the moment. We'll need some luck from there. Outside it, Tidy Package and Forest Ferry last of all. Zassi tries to get a break at the 400. Segaline's going with it, however. They're clear from special mention. Valley Saint and now Dwarf Command is into the clear and is switching to the outside and giving chase to the leaders. It's Segaline going up to Zassi. Dwarf Command is starting to go up after them quickly on the outside. Oh, she went straight past them, Dorf Command, and for Gandit, and it raced away with 100 metres to go, and this is going to win by a big space. Dorf Command impressive by three lengths. Special mention second, Segaline third, and then Zazzy followed by Tidy Package and Valley Saint from Forest Ferry, and dropping out to be last of all was Silver Set. She's pretty smart. The commands filly there for Dan Ganderton and Clary Connors. You see her, the hot pink cap switching out around them as they came into the straight. And she's let down to the line in fantastic fashion. Getting home ahead of number three special mention. Looks as if she's just poked her nose out to get second ahead of number one, Sejaline. That was most impressive, wasn't it, Caroline? Dorf Command, she really put them to the sword. She raced away to win easy too. Daniel Ganton and wrote her a treaty, got back along the inside. She looked in a bit of an awkward spot, but 50 metres later, she was straight on the back of special mention, getting to the outside, and she rounded them up pretty quickly. Two Dorf Command first. Number three special mention looks prominent to get the photo just in front of number one, Shedjeline. So the numbers should read two, three, and one, but the winner was most impressive. Um, as soon as Segaline got onto uh, Zassi, the horse behind the Valley Saint was struggling to keep up. Special mention was, uh, you knew it was possibly always going to get Segaline, but Dorf Command got them in two bounds. The numbers are official now. Two, three, one and eight. Two, three, one and eight. Dorf Command special mention Segaline. And officially fourth Caroline was number eight, Zassi. Zassi. As they come around the turn, you could see there as she switched out there, she is the hot pink cap, the little dark filly by commands getting past these leaders. Zassi, well, she stuck on okay, but she obviously put up uh, the speed early on and uh, she's dropped back there into fourth placing. But Dorf Command just absolutely dashing away with it, the filly by commands. Warrior Mayor in Mesdor for Dan Ganderton and Clary Connors. Here she is coming back to scale and she did that really, really easily. Once she got out, that was uh, very easy indeed. And uh, Clary Connors is now with Richard. Yeah, I think Clary might be pretty happy too. She's now put three in the, the trot and Clary, she is just going great guns. Yeah, mate, she's flying this little filly. She, I reckon her heart must be as big as, as she is herself. Not much of it as you can see. But she's... Um, she just keeps going forward, leaps and bounds every time I put her down and she's a lovely girl. I don't do much with her and she's happy, you know, and happy horse, happy trainer. <laughs> the best part about her, Clary, was she looked at an awkward spot and 100 metres later she had him beaten. Yeah, well I was pretty worried when she was back there because she's never been back there. Oh, well she has once and she got beat pretty easy. Uh, but, um, you, know, I was, but you know, he got out really good, the boy. He's, he's riding very well, this Gannon. But it got out the right time, and but she really accelerated the line. It's very, I thought it was a very impressive win. You weren't the only one that thought it was impressive. I think we all did, mate. Well done. Thank you very much. Very good trainer, Clary Connors, and the good ride, young Daniel Ganton. And well, uh, in the middle stages, I think everyone's thinking, oh, gee, she's in an awkward spot. But 100 yards later, you're home. Yeah, that's right. Um, she was beaten for speed a little bit more than expected today, but um, she always travelled well there. And um, when I was able to get off sort of half around the corner, I gave her that click, and she showed a good turn of foot to really suck up into the race. And... Yeah, I'll, I never doubted her after that. No one did, mate. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Rich. Perfect ride. Daniel Ganton, as Clary said, he's a young apprentice going at places. Daniel Ganton, he can ride. Let's go back to Melbourne as the rain starts to fall again here at Canterbury. Back to Geelong.